One of the biggest fears of all students is to hear, start work, start, open the exam sheet, go to the section B and realize that what you studied didn't make it in the exam. You know, you just have a few number of hours, a lot that you studied, do with a loss. So we have the first law of thermodynamics now. This first law of thermodynamics finds itself under energy, which is also known as the law of conservation of energy. Now, Newton's laws of motion. Now, this is something new in the new curriculum, the three Newton's laws of motion, where you study the first one in basic seven, second one in basic eight, and then the third one in basic nine. Then we have the laws of reflection, which has to do with light, as well as the laws of refraction. Then Ohm's law, which is also found under the topic electricity. And electricity is one topic you should always expect in any WIAC exam. Now, the second group is cycles. Now we have the water cycle, which is studied in basic seven. The life cycle of a house, which is also studied in basic seven. Carbon cycle, which is in basic eight. And the life cycle of an anopheles mosquito, which is in basic eight. Nitrogen cycle in basic nine. And the life cycle of the grasshopper, which is also in basic nine. Now in the new curriculum, even though you study the topics in bits for every class, that is from basic seven, eight, and then nine, I don't think the questions will be asked based on basic 7, 8, and 9. So when you are studying, you study it as if they are all together. And the reason why such thing is done is so that by the time you get to basic 9, you can still be able to relate what you studied in a higher class to what you studied in a lower class. So we have diseases here, and the diseases we have non communicable diseases and then communicable diseases. So with the non communicable diseases, you have deficiency diseases which you find in nutrition. Or digestion okay, so diseases associated with dentition you have gum disease you have to decay then respiratory diseases some respiratory diseases are non-communicable then you have secretary diseases these are diseases you should if you didn't just know their names know their names know their clinical manifestations know how they are prevented and so on and we have cancer this is a new introduction you find it in basic night understand even though cancer is not fully understood, you should be able to know that it's one of the diseases that are plaguing people in recent years. And we have diabetes. And when it comes to the communicable diseases as well, we have the viral diseases Ebola, COVID-19, and then H1N1, which we study in basic 7. Then other viral diseases include hepatitis, HIV, AIDS, and then measles. And we have bacterial diseases, which are meningitis, gonorrhea, tuberculosis, and then dysentery. You know, with these diseases, if you want to be able to study and remember them, because the knowledge is isolated, what you do is, don't depend on what you have in your textbooks. Not to say that the textbooks did a bad job, no. The purpose of studying is to keep the information in your head. And the diseases are such that when you study them in isolation, find it very difficult to remember so what you do is do your own research on how these diseases operate like looking at the courses watch videos on youtube go on google search them out yourself describe them in your own words and you realize that by the time you are done you'll be able to remember the reason why the teachers mostly remember whatever they, they are teaching over years is because they do the personal study themselves so if you will do what your teacher will do remember as your teacher will even though it might not be as effective as a teacher and we have the last group of diseases which has to do with fungi. That is ringworm, candidiasis, and then fungal eye infection. If you would see the clinical manifestation of these diseases on someone, you would always remember them. Then we have systems. In this new curriculum, we have the digestive system. That has to do with digestion, the solar system, which is studied in basic 7, 8, and then 9. Very interesting. Then the ecosystem, the farming systems, the 10 farming systems. Now, these farming systems, you can also study them in such a way that you would always remember. That is, group them in twos and study them. Try to find out similarities and differences. The respiratory system, as well as the circulatory system. You can study the respiratory system or the circulatory system, you know, um, side by side. Relating, yeah, relating the heart to the lungs, trying to find differences and similarities. And you realize that it is very difficult for you to forget. Now, the most important part of any science exam 
you are most likely to find calculation mostly that it doesn't only have to do with reading so you have velocity calculation of velocity and you find these under various topics i wouldn't want to put in this video you have acceleration so you shouldn't just know what the definition is you should know the formula and you should know the unit as well so you see velocity and acceleration has to do with distance and then angle of incidence and reflection has to do with light so we have force we have work kinetic and potential energy and these have been arranged in such a way that if you haven't studied them at all you can study them in this order and then get the understanding you have power you have pressure now before i continue to be able to keep this formula in your head don't try to memorize them solve questions with them the more you solve questions and the more you stitch them that is how you get used to them like you are going to cram the formulas and then repeat them to yourself over and over again you are most likely to forget the units especially and when you do a calculation and you miss the units you are going to lose marks for that then you have momentum momentum is a new introduction momentum the formula is mass times velocity then we have efficiency which has to do with machines velocity ratio mechanical advantage you can put and work out with then we have electricity which you shouldn't you know we shouldn't joke with electricity we have reinforced i which has to do with the ohm's law and we have calculation of energy consumed in kilowatts hour power is also in electricity where um, current multiplied by potential difference will give you power click on the image by my channel name to find more videos that i make